Okay, let's talk about the first pillar of calculus, which I call close is good enough. What makes calculus different from all of the math that you've done before is that in algebra or in geometry or certainly in arithmetic, you always get the answer in one step. Well, maybe not exactly one step, but you get directly to the answer. Suppose I gave you an, a quadratic equation. And I asked you to find the answer. You wouldn't tell me that the answer is eh, somewhere around 1.9 or maybe around 1.2.1 or somewhere in between. You wouldn't try to get close to the answer. You'd try to get the answer because you got a formula for it. You just apply the quadratic formula and you say x is 3 plus or minus the square root of 3 squared minus 4 times 2 times 1 all divided by 2, 2a. And that's 3 plus or minus 1 over 2. So the answers are 1 or 2. Not 0.99, not 1.01, but 1 or 2. You plug in 1 or 2 into the equation, and it works. You plug in any other numbers into the equation, and it doesn't work. But calculus is different. And this is, this is the, the conceptually hardest thing, but it's also the most powerful tool we've got. In calculus, you get problems like, what is 1 plus a half plus a quarter plus an eighth plus a sixteenth plus a thirty-second on forever. Now, it's not that hard to get a reasonable guess of what the answer is. Just add the first two numbers and you get one and a half. And one and a half is reasonably close. You want a better answer? Add the first three numbers and you get one and three quarters. You want the better answer? Add the first four numbers and get one and seven eighths. You want a better answer? Add the first five numbers and get one and fifteen sixteenths. What's happening? What's happening is you add more and more and more numbers. Well, it's pretty clear that what's happening is you're getting closer and closer and closer and closer to two. So we say that the infinite sum is equal to two. Now, there's no way that you're going to get 2 by any finite process. You add the first 13,785,249 numbers, and you're not going to get 2. You're going to get really, really, really close to 2, but you're not going to get 2. Still, we can show that there's a way to get 2 as a limit. So the whole idea is you want to do a finite approximation. You want to get close to your answer. And you want to get closer, and you want to get closer, and you want to get closer, and you want to take a limit, and that's how we do all of our proxy, all of our calculus. Derivatives are limits of ratios. Integrals are limits of sums. Infinite series are limits of a different kind of sum. But everything in calculus is a limit.